Barry, we're sorry to tear you out of the dressing room there because you can hear inside what it means to the club. I mean, can you even put it into words? Yeah, look, um, I suppose it's a magical feeling. Like, we, we haven't been in a county semi final since 1985. Like, um, yeah, look, it's a, it's a special feeling. We talked about it during the week. I suppose coming into this game today, we were playing a, a last two weeks ago against uh, Bally Brown and we didn't think we were going to even get this far. So to get to quarter final was a bonus, and just to get to semi final is just it's incredible. Scrappy, maybe first half, low score, and you were three points down, did get a, a score late on. What was the message at halftime? Yeah, look, I suppose the weather conditions were poor here today. Um, to well missed a couple of chances in the first half, and I suppose we just knew we, knew we need, coming in today we need to keep the scoreboard ticking over. Um, and look, the boys took some unreal scores there today. Um, everyone worked hard, and they put, we put lots of pressure on the well there in the first half to, to hit those balls wide. Um, but look, uh, Brian Ryan got an unbelievable goal there that, that really got us going and uh, we kind of kicked on from there. Once we got in front, we kind of tried to keep ourselves in front. Um, look, the work right now to see out of those group of lads is, is just incredible. Um, there was a massive effort all year. We've been getting serious numbers, back training. We're getting 30 plus nearly every session. Like It's just, there's a great buzz around the club this year and, and long may it continue. The goal probably did blow the gates off a bit for you, didn't it? Just midway through the second half, you took the lead. Patrick Swell kept coming back at you, though. You needed to, the grit and determination to, to hold on and get over the line. Yeah, definitely. Look, I think I thought our backs did phenomenal there today. Any ball that was down there, they came out with loads of dirty ball. And the same up on our forwards. We worked hard. Any time they had the ball, we, we made it hard for them to make good passes. And Brian was phenomenal there for the goal. He took it so well, low into the corner, like Jason didn't have a chance. And he's uh, Jason's an unbelievable goalie. And look, he'll be, he'll be pushing on to try and get back in with the county next year, please God. But... Look, uh, we were happy to come here today and get the win. We've heard big four over the last number of years here in Limerick. Some people don't like it, players don't like any tags or anything like that. But that's just the way it's been since, I think, 2016. It's been the same four teams in the semi-finals. How does it feel to break that duct? Yeah, look, it's, it's a phenomenal feeling. Look, last year we pushed it close with Kilmallock. Same with Adair last year. And I, I was here yesterday watching Kildaimo and Doom. And Kildaimo put up an unbelievable battle against Doom. Um, and they nearly got over the line in the end. Um, but look, we had that. Everyone has that chip in their shoulder. Like we've been talking about the big four in Limerick for ages. It's about time one of the, the weaker, the so-called weaker clubs step up and get into that four, top four. And look, we we managed to do it this year. Do you care who you're playing in the last four? I don't mind who we're playing. Look, I'm happy we're in a county semi-final. Hopefully, we can try on again. Barry, that belief throughout the game, throughout the season, in fairness, you mentioned. You know, the last group game against Barry Brown, you thought, well, we just go out and get a win and see what happens. Worked in your favour and. My God, did you back it up today as well? Yeah, look, there's huge, there's a phenomenal attitude inside there with the group of lads we have. Um, going out into that game, we were talking about playing for like the likes of Shane O'Neill, the likes of Mikey Keane, David O'Neill, who and Anthony as well, who could be their last year playing senior hurling. Um, so going into that game, we just wanted to do them proud, and we did. And look, we got an added bonus of getting to our quarter final. And today again, like you're, you're playing for those boys who, who could be their last out and playing senior hurling. So we want to make that last as long as we can and keep giving them an extra game. So look, we'll go out the next day and, and play.